So we're talking we're talk about you know cultivating high employee engagement, and this is what this means. When I was a young coach, I was about me, 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 me. I knew everything. I didn't think my players had any ideas. And what I learned is that I didn't. I forgot that it wasn't my team; it was our team. And even better, it wasn't my team; it was their team. And as soon as I really got that idea, and I understood that, I understood how that worked. What happened was a change. So I had my players start taking over. I mean, literally, I'd say, okay, I want you to teach this. Like I would step out of it. I would say, I want you to teach this. Can you show the team this? What do you think about this? And then what we did walkthroughs, which a walkthrough is something you do before a game. And so you're actually walking through um, the other team's offenses and you're talking about how you want to defend them. I would have my players say, you know, how do we, how do you guys think we should defend this? What do you want to do differently here? And what I discovered was once it became their team and it was no longer just my team, man, I mean, they took ownership of it. They, they, they talked more. They were more involved in practices. It was so different. But I had to let go of control. So I had to give them autonomy. And so this is the first thing. There's a wonderful book written by Dan Pink called What Really Motivates Us. And he said there's three things that really motivate us. And number one is autonomy. Well, when we talk about autonomy, that means, you know, Giving people the freedom of choice, giving them the opportunity to do things, giving them, you know, saying things like, this is your project, go take care of it. And not being over the shoulder going, what are you doing now? What are you doing now? What are you doing now? Or saying, this is the only way to do it. So when you give people autonomy, when you give them that, when you're able to say to them, listen, uh, here's what, the, here's the deadline, here's the project, here's what we need to have happen, take it away. Like that's autonomy. Autonomy can be in a lot of different ways. So it can give, you give parameters and you give them the opportunity to go do that. So there's a wonderful story about um, uh, the first online book, a foot online shoe store, I say boot store, online shoe store, and Zappos. And what they did is they had a really hard time getting customer service reps. Who wants to pay customer service reps? I mean, they're essential, but nobody wants to do it. So they were advertising, 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 please, you know, come work for Zappos. It's going to be the first one. Everybody's like, no, customer service, nope. I don't want to hear people complain because that's what they do. They yell and scream at you. So what they did is, is they decided to give them autonomy. And this is really critical. As they said, you don't have to say, I'm going to put you on hold now. You get a supervisor. I have to ask my, no. They said, you can make the decision. You get to make the decision. So that was number one. But what sealed the deal is they said, you can fire the customer. Now, who doesn't want to be able to fire a customer who's a, you know what? So they gave them the permission to literally say to a customer, look, we're choosing to no longer do business with you. If the customer was out of sorts and mean and crazy. So then they had people who really wanted to do the job because they gave them autonomy. So that's one way. You want to increase engagement? Give people autonomy. Give them some parameters. Let them know, but give them autonomy. The second thing is, is mastery. People love to do things they do well in. So you have to give them the opportunity to be masters, whether that's, you know, you want to be a master, give them more classes, give them more training, you know, whatever it is, let them be a master of what they're doing. Uh, this guy named Bill Simmons here in Billings, Montana, did a really wonderful thing. He took over a, uh, one of those, you know, quick change oil things. And I'm going to say oil, that's Texas, oil, uh, quick change oil for your car. And he found that his, his people were just like, whatever, you know, this is a quick job. I don't care. And he said, this can't work. I need to do something that works. So here's what he did. This is brilliant. He said, I'm going to give you free, free. I'm going to teach you what you need to learn to be uber successful. It's free, free class for me so that you can go from here and do whatever you want, whatever you want to do. I'm going to give you those keys of success for free. And he did that. And what happened was those people love their job. They were giving back to him. When you went into that thing, they're like, they welcome you at the door. How you doing? They're cleaning your windshield. They're giving you, they're serving you water. They were doing everything in the world because why? Is because they were getting something beyond a paycheck. And they were becoming masters, not only at, you know, the quick lube, but at masters at their life, masters at their life. So this is something that is going to increase your employee engagement. And the third thing is purpose. You must drive purpose. People need to feel purposeful. You know, when you were young, think about this. Almost everybody goes, I want to make a difference in the world. Think about this. I want to make a difference in the world. I want to do something that changes the world, that makes a difference. And then, you know, we start our jobs and then it's like, well, we get in the mode that I really can't do that. And, and I, I'm going to say to you, your people need to feel purposeful. And in fact, we all need to have that purpose that drives us because if it's gone, 
you're not going to engage. You're just one of those people who come in and go, hey, you know, and you're like, is it over yet? Are we done yet? Has the day finished yet? Right? But when they have a purpose, when you can connect the purpose to them, when they feel that real drive. So, for example, let's say that somebody said, um, you know, but we just make shoelaces. Like, how can a shoelace be anything that's important? Like, the shoelace is not important. Well, have them come. This is my challenge. Have them come today. Everybody has to wear, you know, tennis shoes. They have shoelaces. Take your shoelaces out. Now, we're going to do little obstacle courses in the day. Like, you have to step over this. You got to go, like, do a little run around this. You got to go up and down steps. Tell me how it feels without a shoelace. And then what happens is people go, oh my gosh, shoelaces are really important. Like if you had to run, if you had to be an Olympic athlete in a sprint race and you couldn't have shoelaces, you weren't gonna, you're not going to be able to end. You won't win. You can't do it. And so when we can drive those things, when people have a purpose, they feel connected, really connected to the purpose. When they feel that, you know what, they're going to give more. So you have to look at what are you doing? How are you connecting your purpose? Are you taking people on a field trip? So if you never see what you've done, like you've never seen, you're in the office all day long and you've never seen the, what's happened over here, give them a field trip, take them out, let them see what they've accomplished. Let them know, connect them to what's going on. You want people engaged, it's, it's about autonomy. It's about building that mastery within them and it's about purpose. And when you give them those things, when they feel that, they're gonna, they're gonna, it's gonna drive engagement. And see, you know, people always say, what do we want? We want motivation. We want retention. We want engagement because when people are engaged, they're going to be more productive. When people are engaged, they're going to stay at your, at your place longer. So think about that. Uh, autonomy, mastery, purpose. Drive those three things and you're going to have better employee retention, engagement, motivation.